everyone, it's Crafts for Others. Um, of course, I have not been making any videos. And uh, I wanted to slowly get back to that. Um, I thought it would help, especially around this time of year. So, back in 2017, my husband and I, Mr. Crafts for Others, we lived in the suburbs of D.C. and we decided that it was just too expensive to live there and traffic um, where we lived. It had originally started out uh, when we got the house in 2010. It took about an hour one way to get into the D.C. area and Towards 2016 or so, 2017, it was taking basically almost two hours and it was just insane and prices were just, you know, going up and, and we, uh, wanted to move back to the Midwest. So we decided that, uh, that that's what we do. So I wasn't working and I wasn't able to find a job out there. We decided, well, I'll just go ahead and move back with my parents that way I can get a job uh real quick you know save up more money and then we could you know look for houses and stuff solar house no big deal took a lot longer than what we thought getting approval from his work and selling our house and getting a new one so it took about a year and a half so we bought our new house and towards the end of September 2018 uh, shortly after that I at my work working at a call center I uh, the my department I work in disp disbanded they uh, got switched over to another department and it was their busy time so from about like November to January I was working overtime of course, then, you know, you have holidays and stuff. And it took us quite a while to get our stuff from, from Virginia. And then my husband uh, was busy going to conferences for his work. Uh, then in 2019, the beginning of February, he had a medical emergency. And he did pass away. So, needless to say, I haven't been uh, really thinking about make, making videos and stuff like that. But now going on the three year mark, I thought it would be better to give me something to do. And uh, especially during this time and having to deal with depression and stuff like that. And, um, and then of course, you know, with COVID and everything, it hasn't helped. So, uh, so yeah, so that's where I've been. And, um, it's just me and Mr. Meows. Mr. Meows is still here, uh, though he's been very, very sick the last year and a half. So, um, there's that, but... I'm slowly getting back to doing crafts. I work at night at the call center so I can make extra money. Um, so usually what I've been doing is uh, I've been knitting hats. So this is one I've made for my mother-in-law. Of course, I need to do the crown portion. And uh, she likes... Uh, kind of uh, interesting colors and stuff like that. So I think she'll like this one. Her husband passed last year. He was, I think he was 96 or 97. And, um, and then after that, last fall, she moved from California to the Midwest um, to another state nearby me and lives with her um, uh her other son and his family. Um, but I need to rewatch some videos on how to finish off the crowns because I haven't made a hat for a long time. 
the, another hat that I have is this one. This one is actually coming out darker. This portion right here is more of a lighter blue, kind of like a teal. Oh, it is uh, it's showing a little bit, but not as much of the teal. Um, in real life, it's more, much more of a teal color. And then this one, I'm just uh, making um, some of them to donate. And obviously, they're they're the ribs, so they will um, they will stretch quite a bit. And um, only other thing I have is this year. Uh, Toad Hollow, they had a, I think it was only 12 mystery, 12 day mystery sock. I don't remember if it was 10 or 20 grams. I think maybe I did 20. But I couldn't do the 25 day one because they were out of stock. So what I decided to do was I'm going to knit have a small little blanket and I just picked another white piece of yarn that I had and started off so then this is all of day one this is day two this is day three this is actually uh, not kind of showing as a red it's a really hot pink you'll notice the row is shorter compared to day two and one. And that's because this yarn got really, really tangled, got really frustrated, and I've, uh, I'm not gonna unravel it. I'm just gonna eventually do something else with it, or, or I'm not sure. This is day four. And then what I thought I would do, since I only have 12 of these, is in between every fourth one, I will put in more of the white. So that's what I did. And then this is day five. And I'm almost di done with uh, day five. And this is actually, this is showing up more muted, but it's actually more of a brighter uh, yellow than that. And I do have some other small little minis as well. So I might just do that but it's still kind of I mean I'm it's not gonna be like a full blanket but it's still somewhat you know it's still somewhat you know pretty long already so that's all what I've been doing I do have a quilt that I have pieced together um and then I've started quilting it for my mother-in-law and maybe I might show it next week or maybe the week after. I haven't worked on it for quite a while. Uh, it's just one of those quilts that has kind of a story to it. So when I show it, I'll, I'll tell you that. But... Um, so yeah, so hopefully um, this will help. And hope to see everyone next week. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have one of these or both of the hats done. But I'm going to, um, I've been making quite a few hats. I have about, I think, like seven or eight of these. <laughs> They're like hatless. Um but, uh, so yeah, so I will probably have, uh, these done, maybe, and then, uh, more of this done. So I hope everyone takes care, and see everyone next week.